Hello, this is the Duda 2, and this is my third Go video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Go boards, otherwise known as Go bonds. Um, I did a, a recent review. My first review was on my Chinese Go board that I got from uh, Yellow Mountain Imports. Um, before I got that board, I played with my own boards. Um, what I originally did was um, I got a, a cheap piece of pine that uh, I figured would do the trick. Um, to... I uh, made it out of a, a 13 by 13 because I figured uh, you know I'm in training and the 13 by 13 board actually fit uh, the piece of pine. Um, I should have grabbed a yardstick, but um, what you want to do uh, is you can go online, uh, different websites like uh, Sensei's Library is a good one. You can get different um, board dimensions and millimeter, centimeter, and uh, I switched it over to inch. And actually, uh, what I did was at the time I had only single convex Yunzi stones. So, what I did was I set the stones down, figured out how far apart I wanted them. And then I knew I needed 13 lines, so I just measured 13 lines. I left enough for a border. Um, this piece uh, was actually, I believe, uh, I want to say a 1 by 12 or something like that. Uh, I cut it, and what I did was I um, did it in pencil first, and then I did it in extra fine marker, and then uh, you know, you can get a fine point, extra fine point sharpie or any kind of marker. And then I had a thick, uh, well, a fine point as opposed to extra fine. And I uh, just twisted my star points. I was real careful. It's not the absolute best quality board, but it's a starter board. I think uh, a piece of, of a board, uh, I was able to make two boards like this. Uh, and I believe the wood itself was like six dollars or something like that at Lowe's Home Depot. So this is pine. Um, as you can see, it, it's not perfect. Uh, examples of my mess ups you'll see uh, right there. You'll see it's a little thick over there. Uh, if uh, you want to get rid of this, you could sand it, but uh, it served my purpose just fine. Uh, it's not a, not a bad board. Um, one thing I realized I'm no carpenter, but uh, you could see that the boards kind of bowed a little. That bow actually helped the sound. Um, I noticed on this board, as opposed to my other board, which wasn't bowed, you could see you could see the bow here. Uh, what I noticed is it's a heck of a heck of a sound. A uh, little something to think about. Um, you know, you get this type of on on my table. And you get this, especially toward the center of the board, you get a heck of a sound. So it's a little something to think about. Uh, if you're making your own board, maybe you want a little bit of a bow. Um, if you have, uh, you know, uh, biconvex stones that, you know, rattle a little, maybe not. You know, because they, you know, you need a nice flat surface so they don't wiggle. But um, especially for single convex, I mean, you can really get a heck of a sound going on with that. Um, moving on, my next one, I wanted a nicer quality board. I hadn't decided to actually buy one yet. So I went to Home Depot and I was checking out different woods. And it's really hard to get uh, a board big enough for a full 19 by 19. But I've done enough games on the 13 by 13 and I said, what the heck, I want to try the 19 by 19 boards. Uh, you know, like a, like a grown up. So uh, what I did was I went out and I found... Um, a piece of uh, board. It was for um, uh, some type of uh, wood uh, paneling, uh, veneer, something like that. Some type of wood paneling and it was called Aspen. I've never even heard of the wood Aspen before and I didn't really research it because it fit my dimensions that I wanted perfectly. Um, I only had to cut it one side. Uh, this, imagine this twice as, you know, twice as long this way. I only I cut it in half and I have uh, perfect dimensions for two boards. They still sell them. Uh, if you go to wood paneling section, it was Lowe's or Home Depot. If 
if you go to that section, uh, you know, they have them. And I don't know if it's a hardwood or a softwood. It seems more of a hardwood. Um, but I really took my time on this one. I bought brand new markers, uh, extra fine. Uh, I clamped down the ruler when I did my measurements. You know, I did it in pencil twice. Um, my measurements are pretty spot on. Um, and uh, this is a heavier board, quite a bit heavier. Um, you could see, you know, I really took my time on this. You can still see the pencil marks up here. So, you know, measure twice, mark once. Uh, you know, as the saying would go. Um, after I did this, I realized later that maybe I should have dyed it um, or stained it, uh, you know, to get it the color I want. But it's not a bad color. Um, and also, I want to make it known if you're planning on doing your own, you want to get a, a spray on polyurethane and just spray it, let it sit, and spray it again two coats uh, to three coats is whatever it recommends on the bottle. Uh, it actually darkened the color. Uh, it was actually a little more white, uh, like this one, and I didn't polyurethane this one. But uh, when you polyurethane it, it darkens it, and I believe you could buy an, you know, polyurethane that intentionally darkens the wood. So what you want to do is, uh, if you want to stain it, stain it the color you want, uh, and then spray it. Which, you know, that, that'd be what I recommend. But uh, the Aspen is a beautiful uh, board. Uh, it smells good. It's got a nice smell. You can see it's uh, a couple pieces here, uh, all glued together, and uh, very durable. Uh, I've had it for, I would say, over a year. Uh, and it's, it's just a, a beautiful, uh, beautiful board for a go. Uh, I would have paid money for this, so maybe I got a bit of a you know, future business selling Aspen go, go boards or something different. And now here is my new baby, um, the bamboo go board that came with um, my go stones and my um, bag. Uh, I talked about the bag and go stones in uh, another video, but you could really see um, the bamboo design on the board. You could see how the grain is going this way. And you can see where, um, you know, they're, they're glued together, they stop. Um, the same grain is on these bamboo boards. So the stones, uh, or the boards themselves look beautiful on the board. And, uh, you know, the bamboo uh, looks beautiful off the board. Now there are two different bamboo go boards on sale, uh, Yellow Mountain Imports. Um, I believe you spend, I think it's 10 or 15 dollars more, and you get the double-sided one, also beautiful, and it gives you the 13 by 13 for practice. Um, I recommend spending a little extra because uh, if you get a buddy who wants to play who's a bit of a beginner, uh, you don't want to throw them on the 19 by 19. In my opinion, it's a bit much. It was a bit much for me. But uh, as far as uh, quality, I mean it's beautiful. The lines are not uh, indented like the Japanese boards. I believe the Japanese actually take a genuine katana and do each line and then they just add the ink after. This, it looks like uh, it's been, uh, I don't want to say marker, what is it, uh, like for the t-shirts. Uh, uh, I, I won't be able to think of it probably by the end of the video. As soon as I hit stop, I'll remember it. But uh, it, it seems like that t-shirting uh, method of getting uh, lines on here is what they did. Uh, but the lines are almost perfect. I don't see anything online. I don't see any mistakes. And uh, it really is a pleasure to, to look at this board. And it is very heavy. I, I'd want to say... Uh, heavier than the Aspen board and it's uh, uh, I believe a little smaller I believe I made my Aspen board a little big um, as far as sound uh, it's got a nice sound nice peaceful relaxing it's not super clicky but you can get a nice click and really if you if you really want that nice sound just slam it down you know you can get get a, a good sound for it so uh, 
Hope you're enjoying these reviews. This is my sec. Or I'm sorry. This is my third go review. Um, my next review, um, the, and probably the last thing I bought, and possibly the last thing I will ever buy from Yellow Mountain Imports, because I have everything I need at least for, I'd say, years to come, unless I get maybe a shirt or a protector for this board, which I'm thinking about. Um, was I I got a magnetic go set. Um, which I take to work and uh, during my free time I practice uh, some Joe Seckies on it. Um, the Magnetic Go board is also uh, amazing. Uh, a great price, a great value and I'll be talking about that in my next video. Uh, once again if you have any questions, if you have something you want me to review um, please feel free. Uh, I'm debating where to continue with uh, this series after I've reviewed everything. I'm I've uh, been talking to some friends. I'm thinking of maybe uh, starting a, um, a Learn Go With Me uh, video series where I will share everything I learn as I learn it and hopefully other beginners can follow me as I get stronger. Um, hopefully um, you can get stronger too. Uh, a lot of the videos are very advanced, uh, especially the ones on YouTube, and a lot of them are just over my level. So uh, maybe as a beginner, I can show um, what I learned using uh, a more beginner's approach. Uh, that's my goal, and that's probably coming in the next few videos, uh, if I can get it going. And then uh, I'll also categorize and talk about uh, possibly uh, joining the American Go Association. I'll let you know the steps of that, and possibly starting a Go Club uh, in the Youngstown area. If you're interested uh, in, in the Northeast Ohio area, especially you know if you're ranked uh, and you're in the area, we'd love to have you. Uh, you could help me start a club. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, there's only a couple of us who really enjoy this around the area, and I'm hoping to, uh, you know, it's a passion of mine. So, uh, you know, we'll talk more about that uh, in the next couple of videos, see how it goes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my... Uh, videos. I, I hope uh, if you're planning on making your own go board, uh, you know, my uh, little tidbits help you out. And uh, if you're thinking of buying a uh, go board, you don't want the expensive Japanese ones, but you want a, a real nice set in general, the bamboo go set is amazing. If you want just the bamboo go board, it is very beautiful. Uh, well done. I highly recommend it. I've yet to get anything I don't like from uh, Yellow Mountain Imports. Uh, you guys have a good day, and uh, we'll see you about my next video. Later.